the chances are that if you enjoy solving puzzles, you will enjoy the game of association croquet. Let's look at the ideal ball positions to start a break at hoop 1. It would be very handy to have a ball already at our hoop and a ball conveniently placed in the middle of the lawn. And then of course one at hoop 2, the hoop after next. Unfortunately, our opponent isn't always kind enough to leave such a perfectly set lawn. Things may instead look a little more like this. So we need to have a plan to create our ideal situation with what we have been left. Looking at these balls perhaps the closest one to being a pioneer for hoop 2 would be the blue ball. To send or rush the blue ball to the hoop we need to position another ball behind it on its rush line. The only other ball we have to work with is black. The yellow ball, after helping us run hoop 1, should really go down to the hoop after next, which is hoop 3. So, how can we get black over to blue's rush line? Maybe if we send yellow down to hoop 3, via black. We can stop red on black's rush line to blue. As you can see, having a plan is beneficial. In this case it even gave us guidance as to which side of hoop 1 to send our yellow ball. Going to the right helped get a rush out to black. So solving the puzzle before the turn begins is the key to great croquet.